Hey friends, what's up? This is Wolf and in today's video I want to show you guys a super cool character generation tool called Hydra and they basically uh, release the pre-release API access to v3 today and I have access to that so I wanted to compare that to the v2 version so I kind of built both workflows and want to show you guys today what I mean and just to give you a glimpse let me show you this video here. All images are full AI as well, by the way. Voila! Rinya! So, yeah, you can. And it does work in any style, right? So I prepared these two images here. We will be using this one for the V2, and we will be using this one for the V3. And this was kind of a glimpse demo for what we will be creating uh, live now as well. And this is kind of the two workflows. Now I do have a pre-release API key for that, so unfortunately I cannot build the workflow um, with every node open here because I would leak my own API key. So I'm just kind of going through both of that, right? Um, here on the top is the v2 version and you can uh, use v2 with Hydra Labs, amazing platform. I will also link them in the, in the description. And here at the bottom is going to be the v3 and uh, this is just the pre-release for some paid creators. So they will gradually roll out um, fairly soon though uh, to the to the you know broader public i want to say and on the website you can access the newest model already so um yeah let's see what we can do here so pretty much let, let's go through the first workflow first and then uh, the other one so um well i will probably get rid of the wait node here and also of this one and then hopefully everything is still working we can just kind of rearrange this move this a little bit here and move this a little bit here and the cool thing is that this um, works in various styles, right? So this is a fairly realistic style. This is a mid-journey image, but this also works super nicely in like Studio Ghibli style or anime style or all kinds of styles. So Hydra is very, very good at character generation and also lip sync and also, also like facial expressions. As you can see, it does look pretty damn good. And also the, the fire in the background is kind of like blurred out, but still um, full in the, in, in the animation. So it does integrate very, very nicely with, with all these elements, right? So um, yeah, let's kind of um, see what we can do. So I'm going to run the V2 model first, and then we can see how, how that compares against the other one, right? So um, I will just pretty much start my Telegram trigger here. And that worked out because we did this one. So I want to uh, hit this one here. And well, now I'm just, we want to hit this again. And it just keeps executing. So we want to hit the V2 version here. So let me hit V2 and execute this one. Hold on one second. So we want to hit the V2. And now we can just kind of go ahead and execute every single note here step by step. So uh, first of all, for the V2 version, we need to get the sound. I just uploaded them to Discord temporarily here to, for, for testing. And then we, we need to upload it to the dev platform. Then we get an image here. We need to upload that set image here. Then once that's uploaded, this is the main call. So we actually define the prompt and the aspect ratio and everything here. So we run that and it kind of starts the character generation. Um, then we can get some uh, project information. Now I'm just gonna open this. And yeah, I think I have not fully leaked my link yet. So that should be like my key, that should be fine. So uh, as you can see, we do have lots of um, different information here. And we can also see here in our JSON that, um, well, it's pretty damn long links from the AWS servers here. And um, it's going to be a talking head a job type and it's still in progress with 5% progress. So I will just wait a little bit. We also have some, you know, different prompts here and all of that. I just wait a little bit and then cue this again instead of having these wait notes so I can uh, still talk to you guys and kind of run all of this in like real time, you know. So yeah, that's going to be this process. And then you will see that for this V2 version here, which I just want to show as compar comparison it's going to be much much worse than the than the v3 version so this one here is v3 there was like a little glitch at the beginning but other than that it does a pretty fantastic job all images are as i said are mid journey generated this one as well and we will be using this one here and you can see that it will uh, look um, completely different to the first one right 
So let's test the step again and see what's up. So we are uh, at 74%. So it'll just take a couple more seconds and then we'll be good to go. And then we will also walk through the v V3 workflow. And once this officially releases from, from Hydra Labs, I will make um, a new tutorial on that, um, of course, and show you the full full workflow and how to build the entire workflow step by step for you guys. Okay, so yeah, uh, quite excited for that. Hopefully it will be soon because I I, uh, I love Hydra. I've created, well, probably like 50, 60, 70 videos already and they have very good character generation and also the consistency is super good. So, you know, it works on all kind of various styles. It works on these kind of AI images here. It works on, you, you can even give it real images. Um, and you can also give it like Studio ghibli fight images and, and all those kind of images, right? So we could even use images from our uh, from our bot like here, you know, for example, here I've used them again. We could also use this image. Matter of fact, I could actually do that for, uh, well, I do have the links stored already though, but we could also use this one here and, and this would also look super, super nicely. So I've also done a lot of these Studio Ghibli images kind of, you know, and they also look super nice. So... Yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Um, but the I feel like the human ones are way more difficult even. Of course, it's way more difficult to lip sync this. So we will be using this to show you how it looks, okay? So let's run this again, see how far we are. And we, we should be completed here. We are complete, perfect. So now we can go ahead, download the video here. It'll download it as binary data and then we can send it here in Telegram. And now let's play this with sound and you guys will see this. Uh, the, the, the V2 has a lot of downside still. Shaka Regis and Hans, it's very well and paste, sing everything. I mean, this was the V2 model and it already did. Um, looking at the AI was that so have, um, huge props here to, to Hydra. M amazing job, absolutely. But um, you can see the incredible improvement on the V3 model, and we will be using the V3 model here. Um, now, so I'll just run the workflow again and then call it V3. So we will be calling it V3 here. Test the workflow again, stop it so we can manually run it here. So we set an asset ID first, then get the image. Now we upload the image to this set asset ID here. That's kind of the new workflow, how it works. Now we set the audio asset here. Um, we get the audio from our predefined link here and then we upload the audio. That's kind of how it goes. Um, now let me, uh, go through the notes here. Now we get the available models. You, Hydra, by the way, also has, um, Kling and Minimax and, um, VO2 from Google integrated. So pretty, pretty cool. Now we start the video generation. Now we get the video gen status. Now we can just wait, wait a tiny bit for this to kind of execute. All right. So I just zoomed in a tiny bit more. So now my API key is not visible here. Um, here, here it would be, but it's out of frame. So, yep, this, as you can see, is the new API, new API endpoints, all of that. We do have um, all the good stuff here, and we also do have our our task here. So uh, this is still queued. Uh, now we can just run it again, and as you can see, now it's processing. So from from the queue, it went into the production. It's processing now, and um, we do have the AWS links here again from the Amazon servers, which uh, it's pretty industry standard, I'd, I'd say. And now we can just wait a little bit for, for this to finish. So um, we will wait for the, the task here to um, keep processing. And then we can also download the video, send the video. And now it's going to be, well, it's going to be a huge different. I mean, I've kind of shown this already. This was, a, um, this was a generation I've done previously. Could have done this in the Ghibli style as well, but I feel like human is kind of, you know, even more state of the art kind of. And this one is the V2. Uh, way more difficult kind of you know um, it does like has pretty good it does have pretty good lip sync already like out of the box though depending on the audio and the cool thing also you can do is also on the api level here you can do let me see the process here 30 percent. so you can do both um a full new audio basically so you could it, you know, it could be text to speech kind of from a text prompt, or you could even record something with your own voice. And then you can remix it with uh, all kinds of different 11 labs, voice actors, for example, all of that good stuff. So pretty much you can also have the character say anything, right? So 
I could also just use this image and then I say something um, with my mic and then I just remix it with 11 Labs, for example, all different cool tools. And then um, I have the character speak exactly what I I like him to speak. But what I feel like is pretty cool is also to find these pre-recorded voices. So for example, I have um, the Daenerys Targaryen voices here from like Game of Thrones snippets or YouTube shorts or something like that. And then I just add them to here. And actually you can create very cool shorts with that. So that is a different video idea again. Um, you guys have probably noticed I am, well, I do have lots of ideas, so there will be lots of cool videos. So feel free to subscribe guys. It's going to be, it's going to be hella fun. And um, the good thing is actually, why is here the businessman talking? That is kind of confusing. <laughs> Uh, this prompt here anyways um so the good thing is that we will have so many cool and amazing um, ideas and videos and projects to tackle and it's going to be hella fun and also for for this hydra generation when the v3 officially launches i'll do a super cool short form content creation agent because you can do very cool short videos with this actually and kind of you know um create very cool scenes with like popular speeches and famous speeches from movies and all of that and uh, also reselling different styles, it's pretty damn cool. So let's run this again, see where we add. We at 80%, perfect. And video still processing, so that looks good to me. Um, and yeah, guys, other than that, we'll just wait for a little bit longer. Um, so apparently th this was, um, oh yeah, this was a prompt from one of my previous testing, actually, when I did male characters. So, well, um, now okay well if this if this if this fails now that's on me then we still have this one which was the v3 version as well which is pretty good i do have lots of videos you know um but i'm probably gonna post this without any post editing so i can't really add too many like videos here but yeah uh, as i said once the v3 officially releases because this is a pre-release it's not like officially out yet just for just for pre-release testing on the v3 then you know i'm definitely going to make one or more tutorials on that because really i i fall in love with hydra they they are amazing they do an amazing job and um they rapidly improve like the the v2 to v3 is incredibly incredibly good um so let's see where we at so we are complete now that means we should be able to download our video here um let me see and let's see what, where we add here yep we can download the video we should be able to send it here in telegram and let's see let's see what it uh looks like with the wrong mail prompt actually Still I'm just kind of talking in between so I don't get flagged. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how the music uh, detection is from YouTube side, but they are probably, well, pretty damn good at it. So yeah, maybe this, uh, hopefully this is not too late. Anyways, so you can see the huge difference, you know, here we have the V2 version, which is completely glitched out. And I mean, it kind of does get the first like kind of feeling for it. But here, this is just incredibly good. This is a, such a huge step of improvement, and I'm I'm completely excited to see that. And especially kind of following Hydra for a longer time, they they do a phenomenal job with that. And I I can't even wait to to see V4 at at one point, you know. So yeah, that's kind of that. Um, I really cannot wait for the for the V3 uh, API to officially release because we will be building crazy workflows with that. I can tell you that, guys. We will be building amazing workflows with that and amazing short form agents and all of that good stuff. Also, Hydra has has amazing generation capabilities because you can actually create videos with like minutes, uh, minutes long, right? So you are not really limited to like five or 10 seconds like most other models like Kling and Hilu and Google VO2 and all of them. You can really um, go, go the extra step and I've actually made videos like two or three minutes long with Hydra. So, and they keep this consistency, like they, they keep this amazing lip sync and kind of the head movement. And you can see how the hair kind of moves physically correct. And like this little kind of chain here and the arms and then the background fire. So they, their GPUs are burning. I can tell you that the GPUs are burning. 
and they're doing an amazing job so absolutely stunning results and as you can see again it's a pretty simple workflow we just have a couple api calls we just kind of get you know the the sound the image which is going to be the first frame then we queue the generation task and then the full video is being generated kind of like most of the image to video models with the first frame and the audio and yeah i'm super happy with that so we kind of have this all-in-one model you don't need the image to video and then the um, post-production lip sync kind of you do have everything in one place here so that's why i think we we can actually make very very nice agents with this and yeah i mean i've i've kind of already done some some good stuff with that because of the pre-release so this is just a tiny glimpse of what you can do and what Hydra is capable of so actually yeah incredibly incredibly good job and super amazed by that and yeah guys this is the full workflow as you can see pretty simple this one is the old v2 version this one is the v3 version so you can actually build some very cool stuff with that and um, yeah here we have the the amazing result of the v3 so definitely check that out and once the v v3 releases um we will we will be creating some amazing uh, videos with that as well and amazing well short form agents and all of that good stuff so without further ado friends um let me know in the comments what you think of this model, if you like the results, um, what you think of all of this. And yeah, I'd be super happy if you comment your thoughts or your, your new ideas. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, let me also know about any future ideas. I, I do have lots of ideas, but well, I'm always open to kind of tackle new things as well and find new challenges. So if you have a challenge for me, let me know in the comments, you know, like I've re we've recently actually on this channel built a super cool um, GPT image wrapper using the GPT and I am currently building a Higgsfield wrapper and basically my own Higgsfield API because they don't have one so um, I'm happy Hydra released the API otherwise I would have probably reverse engineered that and built, built it myself and built my own API but now we have the official one so we can just use that it's way way easier and way quicker so no need for that but if you want if you want to have like any cool wrappers or reverse engineered APIs or something like that good stuff, just let me know. And well, I probably do it in one of the videos, right? So, you know, if it's, if it's Kling or mid journey or any of those tools, we, we can crack them pretty much. Uh, we can crack them like a little hazelnut. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, if you don't want to miss the future releases, don't forget to subscribe and well you'd better have notifications on as well because ai is moving damn fast so i'll see you guys in the next one and yeah this is wolf have an amazing day peace